Saudações delícias, sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui do meu Lúcio Caio Nobre Meus amigos, vamos para mais um vídeo de God of War Ragnarok Nesse canal delicioso, sim rapaz Nós tivemos aí recentemente divulgado pelo Playstation do Brasil E os outros canais do Playstation também ao redor do mundo Um vídeo de bastidores, uma série que eles estão começando né, Poder contar um pouco mais de como foi o desenvolvimento de God of War Ragnarok Obviamente sem spoilers nenhum da história É só poder mostrar como foi essa construção E o primeiro vídeo que eles postaram pra gente, que nós vamos conferir Juntos aqui hoje É o Moldando a História de God of War Ragnarok Então se você tá ansioso Poder saber mais aí, rapaz Deixa seu likezão, se inscreve no canal e ativa o sininho Pra não perder a notificação dos próximos vídeos É uma regra do YouTube, se vocês não ativarem Vocês não recebem os nossos vídeos E vamos lá, meus amigos Sem mais delongas, deixa eu trocar minha tela Pra gente poder começar a ver esse esquema aqui Ver como é que é esse vídeo Já estamos aqui com ele devidamente preparado Então vamos lá, sem mais delongas, porque são 10 minutinhos Está com legendas em português que eu peguei aqui diretamente do canal do Playstation do Brasil, tá? Então a gente vai poder conferir aqui direitinho aos poucos sem perder nenhum tipo de detalhe. Simbora, meus amigos! We're coming off of God of War 2018. How do you talk that? Ali, ó, How em cima. How do you deliver something that players will love? Maybe just as much as God of War 2018. É um desafio, né? The pressure was tremendous. A pressão foi enorme, com certeza. My name is Ariel Angelotti, and I am the senior producer for Narrative. My name ah. is Richard Gobert. I'm the story lead for God of War Ragnarok. I'm Jody Kutsko, and I'm the supervising dialogue designer. It's my job to shape the story along with our writing team, our narrative director, and game director. As a producer, it's my job to help build a team to create that content, um, to own the schedule in realizing that content. I oversee the dialogue production throughout the entire titles. Every line of dialogue that you hear, every human vocalization and effort and grunt, uh, our team touches. Summer men like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. In the Muito story foda, of God né, of War 2018, we find Kratos seemingly having turned over a new leaf in the Norse lands. He lives a quiet life hidden in the woods with his wife Faye and their son Atreus. And the story starts with them mourning her death. And we learn that she made a final request before she passed away. She wanted them to spread her ashes from the highest peak in all the nine realms. He's scared of being a bad father, a bad influence, and as a result, it's made him an absent father. Um baita resumo, hein, mano, que estou fazendo. Is that he's passed that evil that's inside of him onto his son. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. They befriend it's Freya, too late. who is an exiled Vanir goddess who used to be married to Odin. They meet Mimir, the self-proclaimed smartest man alive, who serves as their guide and their confidant. And they meet the Holdra brothers, Brock and Sindri, who are world-class weaponsmiths who end up their main source of upgrades and equipment. Certo. Now among the enemies they make are the Aesir gods, whose leader is none other than Odin, someone we never meet in God of War 2018, but who casts a very long and dark shadow over the nine realms. Sem There are consequences to killing a god. Why? How do you know? How do you know? After Menino many adventures, Kratos and Atreus end up fulfilling mom's wishes, and over the course of that journey, they find out more about each other about themselves and finally find a common ground between them they become the close family unit that Faye hoped that they would become que da hora mano realmente bora pro Ragnarok vamos ver o que eles vão falar Ragnarok, we fast forward a few years alguns anos que era esperado né out in their home in the woods in Midgard during the course of the previous games events They were forced to kill Odin's grandchildren, Magni and Modi, the sons of Thor. 
Thor does a lot of the lion's share of Odin's dirty work, and as a consequence, Safado. he's a very violent, unstable personality. At the end of the last game, they were also forced to kill Balder, the son of Odin and Freya, and that has its own set of consequences. He was a very powerful chess piece for Odin, one that Odin is incredibly bitter about losing. Freya has vowed vengeance against them for the killing of her son. Kratos and Atreus didn't want to kill him, they were friends with Freya, but Balder tried to kill her in front of them, and Kratos had no other option in the moment but to kill him to save Freya's life, even though it meant losing Freya's friendship. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell that is my promise he saved your life he robbed me of everything <laughs> everything his death is also foretold to bring about fimble winter which is a Fimble brutal winter. three year winter that is then followed by Ragnarok. It's an Ragnarok. apocalyptic war between all the Norse gods, the giants, the dwarves, and the elves, and an army of the dead. They're all destined to fight in a battle that basically ends the world. Kratos is understandably worried about his son and what it means for him. You get to go on this journey with how Atreus grows into a young adult and how Kratos grows into his next era in his life and really see kind of the parent that he's striving to be but the person he's striving to be cenas novas mano that tale so incredibly relatable de cinemáticas e tal da hora velho we had started shooting um you know plenty of content before the pandemic hit in fact the week before we all went uh work from home we were doing a shoot I remember being on and off that set, running back to the office and o tamanho do Sunny, mano. Angry Boda. Leadership about what was going down and um, how this was Nossa, como é que o Sunny cresceu, forward. velho? And those were trying times. For us, it was a very unique challenge because Muito we had isso. to bring in actors and we had to record them. And so we had to look at different ways of adapting our typical motion capture process and dialogue recording process so we can continue production and continue at the quality that we wanted for our players and our fans. We had uh, some actors stand in for other characters, actors who were already, you know, who were like core to one of the scenes, um, might just be able to play a background character in another scene to be able to avoid a situation where too many people were, were on set. Uh, eles reaproveitaram muitos atores we que estavam lá para fazer outros personagens mais secundários. We as a result of the pandemic and these limitations that we had to deal with. There were no cinematics that we changed. We still have the same characters in them in the final game. We just had to get a bit creative with how we shot the content. Our actor for Atreus, Sonny, is a teenage boy. And his voice changed dramatically throughout the several years on Nossa, this title. Nossa, ele esticou muito, cara. É muito doido isso. Answers. We had to go in and even out that performance, so it sounds like it took place over a short period of time. That that was a unique challenge on this one. Assistam um o documentário Raising Kratos. É muito legal ver ele pequenininho, mano. Whether the saga was going to be a trilogy or just two games was something we debated a lot. There were obviously pros and cons for either approach. So we waited for Cory Barlog to weigh in, and he did, ah, and he said, homem, yeah. let's do it in two. The consequence to that is, how do you wrap up the story in one game and do Ragnarok justice? How do we lead up to that and then have a big moment at the end of the game and wrap up all those loose threads? Sim. This game is bigger than what we initially envisioned. There's a lot of important story moments that we needed to cover. There are more characters that we follow the threads of. And ultimately... Essa é a maior curiosidade de todo mundo, mano. Como é que eles vão fechar tudo em apenas um jogo e responder todas as perguntas que a gente quer? For people to enjoy. I am very excited for folks to see this final chapter. A lot happens. Uh, we put our characters through the ringer. But we also bring them closure and we provide answers to a lot of the questions the first game posed. 
Olha, eles dão fechamentos para os personagens e respondem muitas perguntas que ficaram no primeiro jogo, mano. Sem dúvida, moça. Nós um, at the end of last game, there's gonna be some consequences this game. We're gonna see how things play out between Freya and Kratos. Ah, tá. We're gonna see how the evolution of the family relationship continues. You got Brock and Sentry, the dwarves, who are kind of part of your makeshift family now. And there's gonna be some other characters that we introduce that maybe gonna disrupt the balance a little bit. I can't wait until players uh, get their hands on the game or are able to experience how the story unfolds for themselves. We have, I think, an incredibly well-rounded game. Very satisfying combat, beautiful and rich environments to explore, outstanding character art, a lush and moving soundtrack and soundscape. It's the work of hundreds of very dedicated artists and they all have their own stories to tell. Nossa, meu irmão, que coisa maravilhosa, velho. Que que é isso, cara? É, meus amigos, é isso. Muito legal, velho, esse vídeo de bastidores. Eles abordaram muita coisa do que eles tiveram que fazer aí pro Ragnarok, pra eles poderem fechar o jogo, o, a história, na verdade, em apenas um jogo. E eu acho que isso é o máximo, assim, de curiosidade que a galera quer ver, entendeu? Como é que eles vão fechar... Tudo isso que eles apresentaram em 2018, como é que eles vão fechar o Ragnarok já em um jogo só, cara? Porque a gente imaginava que seria realmente uma trilogia e eles nos surpreenderam quando eles mostraram mais informações do Ragnarok e disseram que seria apenas um jogo poder fechar tudo. E, manos, vamos, vamos esperar, vamos aguardar aí pacientemente, já tem gente jogando Ragnarok, se Deus quiser, mano, um pouquinho mais pra frente aí, a gente como parceiro do Playstation, a gente receba o jogo também, né? A gente obviamente vai respeitar todos os embargos que temos e tudo. Mas eu tô muito ansioso, cara. Então deixa aqui embaixo nos comentários, pessoal, o que vocês acharam desse videozinho aqui, mostrando esses bastidores, moldando a história do God of War, tanto 2018, quanto do Ragnarok, eles deram algumas coisas legais aqui, eles passaram algumas informações bacanas pra nós. Eu vou adorar ver os comentários de todos, pessoal. Vou ficando por aqui. E não se esqueça novamente, deixa o seu like, se inscrever no canal, ativar o sininho pra não perder a notificação dos próximos vídeos. Beleza? Um beijo, ó, pra todos vocês aí. Até mais, é? Fuemos, meus amigos.